Australia's acquisition of the MC-55A Peregrine represents a transformative leap in its airborne intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare capabilities, positioning the Royal Australian Air Force as a formidable player in the Indo-Pacific's complex security landscape. Announced on March 18, 2019, by then Defence Minister Christopher Pine and Defence Industry Minister Linda Reynolds, the 2.46 billion Australian dollars, approximately 1.6 billion USD deal under Project AR-555 secures four Gulfstream G-550 aircraft, extensively modified by L3 Harris Technologies into the MC-55A configuration. With the first aircraft, bearing test registration N54GA, commencing its second test flight series on January 16, 2025, from L3 Harris's facility in Greenville, Texas, the program is nearing a critical milestone. Now adorned with full array of markings and the number 10 squadron insignia, Strike First, the Peregrine underscores Australia's intent to dominate the electromagnetic spectrum and enhance joint warfighting networks. The MC-55A, Peregrine's procurement, is a sophisticated collaboration facilitated through the U.S. Foreign Military Sales Program, overseen by the 645th Aeronautical Systems Group at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Approved by the U.S. State Department on June 26, 2017, for up to five aircraft, though finalized at four, the deal saw L3 Harris secure a contract exceeding 628 million USD by early 2025 to outfit the G550 airframes with advanced mission systems. Modifications executed at Greenville and Gulfstream's Savannah, Georgia facility include active electronically scanned array radars in a ventral canoe fairing, electro optical infrared turrets beneath the tail, and a bulbous tail cone housing additional sensors. A dorsal antenna farm supports secure satellite communications, while the spacious under fuselage compartment accommodates signals intelligence and electronic intelligence gear. Australian firm Ascent Professional Services contributes structural integrity certification, enhancing local industry involvement, a rarity in FMS frameworks. Powered by twin Rolls-Royce BR710 C411 engines, each delivering 15,385 pounds of thrust, the Peregrine achieves a cruising speed of 990 km per hour, a maximum of 1,050 km per hour, a 16,000 meter ceiling, and a 12,500 km range, ideal for prolonged regional missions. This propulsion system, paired with the G550's proven reliability in civilian and military roles, ensures the Peregrine can loiter over contested zones, delivering persistent ISR and EW effects. Delivery timelines have faced adjustments, reflecting the complexity of integrating these cutting-edge systems. Initially slated for late 2022 or early 2023, the first aircraft's arrival slipped to late 2023 per mid-2022 to Department of Defense projections, with initial operational capability targeted for 2024. However, ongoing flight testing into 2025 suggests a revised window of 2025 to 2026, with all four aircraft expected to carry Royal Australian Air Force serials A-51-001 to A-51-004, completed by 2026. This delay aligns with the rigorous testing required for self-protection suites, including countermeasures against infrared and radar-guided threats and next-generation EW capabilities, ensuring operational readiness. Once delivered, the Peregrines will be based at Royal Australian Air Force Base Edinburgh, South Australia, supported by a 293.65 million Australian dollars infrastructure investment across four sites. The aircraft's roles are multifaceted, conducting electronic attacks at standoff ranges, gathering SIGINT and ELINT, performing maritime surveillance and reconnaissance, and serving as a network relay for platforms like the F-35A Lightning II, E-7A Wedgetail, EA-18G Growler, naval vessels, and ground forces. This connectivity positions the Peregrine as a fifth-generation force enabler, with full operational capability anticipated by 2026 to 2027. 
The aircraft's design also hints at potential ground-moving target indication capabilities, though specifics remain classified, adding a layer of tactical versatility for monitoring dynamic battlefields. The Peregrine's strategic significance extends beyond its technical prowess, reflecting Australia's proactive response to an evolving threat environment. The Indo-Pacific region, marked by China's military expansion and assertive maritime claims, demands advanced EW and ISR platforms to maintain deterrence and situational awareness. The Peregrine's ability to disrupt adversary communications and radar systems at range, potentially jamming missile guidance or blinding enemy sensors, complements Australia's broader defense modernization, including the AUKUS partnership and nuclear submarine plans. Its deployment at Edinburgh aligns it with maritime-focused assets like the P-8A Poseidon and MQ-4C Triton, creating a synergistic hub for monitoring vital sea lanes, such as those through the South China Sea. Training crews to master its complex systems, however, poses a challenge, with the DoD likely investing in simulators and US-led programs to accelerate proficiency ahead of IOC. Comparing the MC-55A to regional competitors highlights its unique niche. China's KJ-500, an airborne early warning and control platform based on the Y-9 airframe, excels in radar surveillance with its fixed AESA array, boasting a range exceeding 5,700 kilometers and a robust data link network. However, it lacks the Peregrine's EW attack capabilities and smaller, agile airframe, which offers greater deployment flexibility and stealthier ingress. India's Netra AEWNC, mounted on an Embraer EMB-145, provides ISR with a 240-degree radar coverage and 3,400-kilometer range, but its EW suite is less advanced, and its endurance pales against the Peregrine's 12,500-kilometer reach, limiting its strategic depth. Japan's E-767, a Boeing 767-based AEWNC, offers superior endurance and crew capacity, supporting prolonged missions with a 9,000-kilometer range, yet its focus on command and control limits its EW versatility compared to the Peregrine's multi-role design. Singapore's G-550 CAEW, Conformal Airborne Early Warning, also Gulfstream-based, shares a similar airframe but emphasizes early warning with a 360-degree radar and 11,000-kilometer range, lacking the Peregrine's broader SIGINT, ELINT, and offensive EW focus. The Peregrine's integration of standoff EW, ISR, and network fusion, housed in a compact, long-range platform, sets it apart, though its delayed delivery contrasts with these operational systems, giving rivals a temporary edge. Australia's strategic context amplifies the Peregrine's value. Amid rising Indo-Pacific tensions, particularly with China, the Royal Australian Air Force seeks to counter sophisticated electromagnetic threats, like those posed by Chinese J-20 stealth fighters or DF-21D anti-ship missiles, and enhance interoperability with allies like the US, whose EA-18G growler upgrades, like next-generation jammer pods, complement the Peregrine's capabilities. While competitors like the KJ-500 bolster China's regional surveillance, they lack the Peregrine's offensive EW punch, which could disrupt adversary networks at critical junctures, such as during a South China Sea contingency. The program's cost and timeline slips, pushing IOC from 2024 to potentially 2026, reflect the trade-off for a bespoke, future-proof asset though this risks a temporary capability gap as regional threats accelerate. Local economic benefits, including jobs at Ascent and potential maintenance contracts, further justify the investment, aligning with Australia's Defence Industry Capability Plan. Overall, the MC-55A Peregrine positions Australia as a leader in EW and ISR within the region, blending unmatched range, adaptability, and network-centric warfare potential to secure its defense posture as of March 13, 2025, with a lasting impact on regional power dynamics, 